What it is, focus your homeboy first. Back again with another episode of the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some again. Um, as always, I should say, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being down with me. Please continue to do so. You feel me? Also, make sure you watch all segments of episode 193. I think that's what we're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 193, episode 193. I'll put it on some getting on up there, y'all. We're getting on up there, making a, a, a slow approach to 200 episodes, man. Woo! A lot of work. A lot of work. I need a vacation, goddamn. But here I am. All right. Uh, also, make sure y'all fuck with our sponsor, the King McNeil Collection. That is the King McNeil Collection. For all of your needs for fraternity or sorority gear, you feel me? They are excellent. They are the best in the business, okay? Go to kingmcneil.com or download the app. First purchase will get you 20% off, okay? That is the King McNeil Collection. Tell them first sent you. All right? Well, let's get into it, y'all. The Dynasty of Jackson State University. I'm talking about the women's basketball program. Uh, has continued their undefeated run in the SWAC this year, okay? This past week, we knocked off Bethune-Cookman on last Monday by a score of 52-39, to and we went down now to Lorman, and in a tough one, knocked off Alcorn by a score of 62-54, to okay? So... Since we swept the week, I think it's only right. It is only proper. And it is only fitting that I strike up the mother fucking band. Shout out to the boom, the illustrious boom, the Super Bowl boom, the Legacy Bowl boom, the booked boom. God damn it, they some hardworking motherfuckers. Shout out to them. I always love the boom, okay? But let's get into this, okay? Let's get into it. All right? Like I said, we knocked off Bethune-Cookman last Monday by a score of 52 to 39, okay? Uh, that one was at the AAC. You feel me? Uh, let's take a look at this. Now, it was a tough shooting night for us, okay? So much so that you robbed Jay <laughs> was saying something might be wrong with the goddamn goal up in that bit, okay? But we we only shot 31.6% from the field. But the thing that has sustained this dynasty throughout is our defense, okay? And we held them to 23.7% shooting. That is god-awful, okay? The ours is got off too, but uh theirs was even even worse. Okay. Uh from three point line, it was bad for both teams, 20% for us, 26.7% for them. Free throw line wasn't good either, 68% to uh to their 70 percent. Okay, we got to the line uh more times. We we shot 19 free throws to their 10 free throws, okay. Uh we uh won the boards 44 to 34, including 19 offensive boards. Uh, turnovers, we won that too, but only slightly uh, 18 turnovers to their, to their 19 uh, turnovers. Uh, fast break points. That's what we got it done, though. All right? Fast break points and paint points. That's what won this game. All right? And like I said before, I want to say that was the Southern game, but we were struggling mightily offensively. Uh, when we're not shooting well from the, from the field in the half court, we got to get out and run. 
okay, and try to get some easy baskets. And we were able to beat them uh, 17 uh, to 4 in fast break points, okay. Uh, and per usual, what a Tamika Reed coach team likes to do is dominate the paint. All right, and we beat uh, we beat them in paint points uh, by a score of uh, by a total, I should say, of twenty eight to sixteen. Okay, let's look at some individual numbers from that Bethune game. We had four queens in double figures in this game. Okay, that included uh, Angel Jackson with ten points, six boards, two steals, one block. My girl Maya had a double double. You understand? With eleven points. 11 boys, that girl's so goddamn athletic, man, and just uh mean too. Maya, mean motherfucker. You feel me? You see her grab a board, you see her uh get her and one showing up, you're gonna see her flexing and shit like that. All right, she she got that mean streak to her, all right, and you gotta have that uh out there, you feel me? But 11 points, 11 boys, one dime, three steals. Okay, her athleticism also help, helps her get those steals. As well, especially uh, when we be pressing and shit like that. All right, uh, Tilly had twelve points, uh, four boards, uh, and my shooter, Miss Avent off the bench, had twelve points, four boards, one dime, one steal. You feel me? Uh, to round out uh, the numbers, okay. Miss Mahoney had two in this one. Uh, Ken Focus Shana had three points. Seven dimes, only two turnovers, okay? Shout out to Ken Fo, you feel me? Uh, Maya Pratchett off the bench had two points, three boards, okay? Layla Walker didn't get in the, uh, in the, in the scorebooks this game, okay? And only had one board, uh, did rest a block, though. That, that's abnormal for this uh, run that Miss Walker's been on lately, okay? She's really been handling business for stepping up big in a major way, uh, you know, we most definitely need her because of uh, Miss White's injury, okay? And it was good to see her in the stands uh, at this game, okay? She did have her crutches near her, you know what I'm talking about, but it was good to at least see that queen, okay? And we wish her a speedy, speedy recovery, okay? Down there in Lorman, like I said, we beat all corn by a score of 62 to 54. Another disappointing day offensively. Okay, we haven't been shooting it uh, well uh, for the majority of probably the last month or so. Okay, really. You feel me? It, it's, been, it's been tough. But the defense has been consistent, okay? So in this game, we shot 38%, but we held – all corn to 38.8%. Both teams made 19 field goals. We were 19 out of 50. They were 19 out of 49, okay? So we basically were even when it comes to that, okay? Uh, from three-point land, both teams actually were good. It, it, we just didn't attempt that, man. We were only five of 11 at 45.5%. They were nine of 20 for 45%, okay? What won us this game was the free throw line. Now, we didn't shoot it necessarily well, okay? We were only 65.5% from the line as a team, okay? But we had 29 attempts to uh, Alcorn's 13. Now, I'm sure some Alcorn fans are going to argue that we were getting a beneficial whistle, okay, as somebody who actually watches the games, okay? Clearly, we were able to uh, get more free throw attempts because, hell, we were the ones being more aggressive, going to the basket uh, and all that all that type of shit. Like, fans, like, look at what I said. They took nine more threes than we did. OK, whereas we try to get Angela post touch, you're trying to, uh, you know, get uh, your guards into the paint by penetrating and shit like that. You feel me? You know, Tilly is always good. That Tilly kind of like either she going to shoot three or she going to drive hard and get fouled. That, that's kind of her game. You feel me? So, of course, we had more free throw attempts. And even though we didn't shoot like 75 plus percentage wise. OK. We did make 19 of our attempts to their only seven of 13. And there's your game right there. Okay. There's your game. We got out rebounding in this one, 29 to 26. Okay. We only had seven offensive boards. I would have hoped that would be more. Okay. Uh, in terms of turnovers, though, that's another indicator. Uh, always another key indicator 
of uh, winning basketballs when you keep your turnovers low, of course. And we only had nine turnovers in this game. So between our free throws and uh, uh, maintaining maintaining control of the basketball, uh, that's what really won us the game. Well, neither team got out in transition where we're down. We had two points in transition, uh, fast break points, and they had none. Okay, so we played stellar <laughs> transition defense, but we didn't really get out. And I really want to see us get out more. I actually remember that that transition bucket because Maya was the one that got out uh, and made a good pass. I want to say that was to Tilly. She dropped it off to somebody. I want to say that was Tilly, you feel me? And I want to see more of that from Maya. I haven't seen that Maya since year four lad when she used to get out and Euro motherfuckers and I used to make them videos about it and shit like that. I want to see us get out and transition more the rest of this season, okay? In March, let's say the dynasty, we're going to get out, we're going to defend, we're going to rebound, we're going to run, okay? And if these motherfuckers press us, we're going to kill their ass on the back end. Let's punish them for pressing us, okay, and get some of these easy baskets, okay? We did win the paint 26 to 16, okay? Like I said, that is a staple of a Tamika Reed coached team, okay? Let's look at some individual numbers, all right? Uh, Angel Jackson, who I say should be the SWAC player of the year and SWAC defensive player of the year. She led the way with 19 points on five of nine shooting. Okay. She still doesn't shoot enough for me. Okay. Five of nine shooting, 19 points, 18, I mean, excuse me, eight boards, excuse me, two blocks. Okay. For who I say should be the PO, POY and the DPOY. You feel me? Uh, Maya came through with nine points on four of ten, shooting five boys, two dimes. Okay, uh, Miss Hunter had 13 and she started this game. Okay, I don't know what, what that was all, was all about at first. I thought uh, Ken Focus Hunter might have been hurt or something. Okay, but Miss Hunter got to start, even though uh, Ken Focus Shana did play more minutes. I don't know if that was just a coaching adjustment or if that was some disciplinary action. I, I don't know. I ain't going to speculate on that. All I know is that Miss Hunter started the game and she got in double figures for us, okay, uh, with 13 big points, including 8 of 12 from the free throw line, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. See, as a guard, she was able to get in that lane and get fouled. Okay, Angel Jackson was 8 of 10 from the free throw line, okay? She's on the block. She's getting the post touch. Uh, and that's part of the reason her field goal attempts field goal attempts are down, too, by the way. I do want to mention that. You know, in basketball, if you attempt a shot but you get fouled, it does not count as a field goal, okay? So I should correct the record with that. Her field goal attempts would have looked different uh, if she hadn't gotten fouled, okay? But, yes, Miss Hunter was thir had 13 points, uh, like I said, on two of two shooting, okay, but eight of 12. Uh, from the free throw line, and she had two steals to go with that. Uh, Miss Mahoney didn't register any points, but she had uh, one board. Miss Mahoney is, is a def defender primarily. I've told you about, about that numerous times. All right, Miss Walker had five, but didn't get a board. Okay, so this was a strange week for Miss Walker. Okay, strange week for Miss Walker when it can't come to hit comes to hitting the boards after the last few weeks uh, of really. Hitting the boys really hard, okay? Miss Breland didn't get in the books in terms of scoring, okay? But she did have a board. Uh, Miss Hickman got us a board and a dime. I right, can't focus on her. Had four on one of two shooting. Uh, two boards, one dime. And my shooter, Miss A. Ben, was only one of five from the field for three points, okay? But she did give me four boards, okay? So... Tough night of shooting, tough week of shooting, goddammit, for the dynasty. Uh, but we got it done. Now, 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 now. I want to get ahead of something. I want to get ahead of something, okay? We don't have a game on tomorrow. I'm filming right now on a Sunday, so we don't have a game on, on Monday. So we got some time. The girls need to ice shit up. Get your knees right, get your ankles right, all that kind of stuff. Okay, we get to watch some film, maybe regroup. Maybe Coach Reed can, uh, you know, install some shit to get us some easy baskets in the half court set. Maybe go over some tape and show them uh, about some opportunities that we're leaving on the board in terms of running and transition, all that kind of stuff, okay? But we're getting close to clinching 
our fifth straight. Fifth straight. Outright. Swag championship. When I say outright, I mean not sharing that motherfucker with anybody. I told y'all after last season how historic this run has been by Coach McGree. This sustained greatness. It's hard to sustain greatness, yeah. History is littered with people who achieve something great. Okay? My mind instantly goes to boxing. Now think about Buster Douglas upsetting Mike Tyson over there in Tokyo to become the world heavyweight champion. Okay? But he didn't sustain that greatness. He's only known for that one moment. You understand? That's not sustained greatness. I think about uh, in the NBA. I think about uh, the Boston Celtics. Or the big three Boston Celtics. KG, Paul Pierce, uh, Ray Allen. They won one goddamn championship. They be running around like they were a damn dynasty. They won one championship. That wasn't sustained greatness. See, these folks in sports who we marvel at, they have sustained greatness. Bill Russell, that was sustained greatness. You understand? Know uh, uh, Michael Jordan, that was sustained greatness. He owned an entire decade, pretty much. The motherfucker was like, shit, if, I ain't, if we playing, y'all can't win. You know what I'm saying? That's sustained greatness. What Patrick Mahomes is doing now with the Kansas City Chiefs, what they are doing, that's sustained greatness. Okay? And what the dynasty is doing is sustained greatness. That's why uh, uh, the university marvels at W.C. Gordon. Jack State football owned the 1980s. Okay? Owned it. Owned it. Well, that's the type of shit. Tamika Reed, her staff, and her ladies are doing right now. It's truly historic. I'm going to save my comment. Until after we clinch. But just know what this woman and this team is doing. It's not going unnoticed by me. No, it's not. Okay? I am thoroughly impressed and I am proud to be a witness to this historic run by the dynasty. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.